Yeah, we have the Toyota Land Cruiser Bush Camper. The booking code is the Crew Cam. This is our most complete camper in the fleet, but we still haven't taken away from the mobility of the vehicle or its four-wheel drive capabilities. The vehicle's based on the Toyota Land Cruiser Single Cab 79 Series. It's a very capable 4x4. It's based around a mechanical operating system, so you don't have any fancy electronics. And it's the ideal vehicle for overland travel and for remote area travel. The vehicle comes standard with the bull bar, winch, got an uprated suspension, got a snorkel, it's got double fuel tank, so it's 180 liters of fuel. The rear bumper with the double swing arms, a dual battery system, and it's got an additional solar system on the vehicle. So you've actually got three batteries on this vehicle. It's now sitting in day mode, so while you're mobile, and we're gonna set the vehicle up into night mode or camping mode. We're going to go and take a look at the, all the different features of the Toyota Land Cruiser Bush Camper. Starting at the cab of the vehicle, it's a single cab, so specifically for two people. What we've got in is obviously all the standard features of the vehicle. And then uh, in case you need more storage space, there is a little storage hatch behind the back seat. In the case that you've got binoculars, cameras, even a small cooler box or other items of clothing, you've got that space. So you don't need to access the back of the vehicle, it's right behind you. The vehicle has got a 120 litre water tank, two different fillers. One is for the geyser, because this vehicle's got a hot water geyser, and the other is just for your fresh water, water tank, and the water can be accessed. There's an external tap at the back of the vehicle. The vehicle has got two fridges. This would be a 140 litre fridge here. It's running on its own battery. The vehicle's got three batteries in total. One for the vehicle, one that runs off solar power, and another one which runs off the alternator of the vehicle. We've got a kitchen off the side with LED lighting, so easy to use at night. And the kitchen pretty much come with everything. You've got all your cutlery, even wine glasses, mugs, small pots. And then in the back of the vehicle, we do have an additional bigger cast iron pot. So the bra grid stores nice and easily over this second spare wheel. If the bra grid is dirty, it's a nice easy place to put it and it's out your way. The vehicle's got two spare wheels, so we've also upgraded all the tires, so you've got all-terrain tires. So with six tires, you're very unlikely to run out of rubber on the trip. You've got this, the kettle's also part of your kitchen equipment, and then you've got the stove which folds out. And there's also a little wind protector so that you have this little cooking area. Your gas cylinders are plumbed permanently here, so it's very easy to use. You literally can just come out and light the stove. We're gonna go into the back of the vehicle, into the actual living space of the vehicle. One of the nicest features of this vehicle is you've actually got wardrobe space. They all zip up and you've got nice big shelves. You can pack all of your clothes and any other items out you can also use there are three of the wardrobes so you can use one for kitchen equipment if you like but you've got ample packing and storage space and it's easy to use another nice feature is this floating bed floor which can lift up so it's out the way and that gives you more than ample changing space and access to any of the, the wardrobes which are closed with the zip then if you're ready to to use the bed, you can just drop it down, easy as that. Here we have a better view of 
like your your bed in the bush camper. It's the Alucab system. It's got a high density foam mattress, 1.35 meters wide, 2.2 meters long. Very comfortable, very easy to put up. Got your mosquito net, so safe in malaria areas. And with the windows open and everything, you've got airflow through the tent. Also to mention on the bush camper, it comes with the mobile toilet. So it's got a little chemical toilet for convenience in the bush. It can be used in conjunction with the shower enclosure, which we're going to have a look at a bit later. Okay, if we close the back door, you can see the Hansen geyser. Now this geyser can work off gas or electricity. Again, we'll look at this later, but you can connect 220 volt power to the vehicle and it would then run the geyser off power. Otherwise, it can run off the gas. The gas cylinders are permanently plumbed so that it's very easy to use. You don't have to cart heavy gas cylinders around. They'll be mounted permanently and plumbed to the stove and the geyser. It's got a very user-friendly and easy shower to use and actually pretty effective. You've got this little bar which clips onto the side of the vehicle. You just open that up, clip your shower curtain on, and then you, this has got sort of a retractable pipe with a shower head on and then your pump. So, and there you go, you got your shower. So with your geezer, you got hot water as well. Very easy to put back and use, and there's nothing better than that sort of shower in the middle of nowhere. Moving on to the second fridge in the vehicle. As mentioned earlier, there's two fridges, both 40 liters. It replicates pretty much the other side. So you've got the storage space up here and a bit of storage space around the fridge. Just in front of your second fridge is the electrical panel. If we can take a look here. So you've got all your electric sitting here. So unique to the bush camper is it's got an adapter for your 220 volt. So if you're in a campsite where you get 220 volt power, you can plug it in and the vehicle will then run on that power. So your geyser would run off 220 volt, pump for the shower off 220 volt, and there's a charger in the vehicle and that would charge your batteries up as well. There's also obviously your solar panel on the roof and this is your solar panel regulator. So that is bringing or regulating your power to your second battery. You can see it's all wired up professionally with your fuse box there so it's very easy to identify a fuse if it does blow and it also has an inverter so when you don't have 220 volt power you can run off your 12 volt but with the inverter you can then still use your 220 volt plug adapters there and allow you to charge up batteries or use a laptop so we're just going to give you a quick view of where the 220 volt plugs in obviously you want to remove this before you drive off here we go so it's pretty much a complete camper and it's very easy to set up and set down. And once again, we haven't taken away from the 4x4 capability. So you're really looking at the ultimate overland vehicle here. Very easy for two people and still one of the best 4x4s on the market. The Land Cruiser Bush Camper also comes with this pull out 270 degree awning. So it wraps all the way around, which gives you shade all around or ample shade for sitting and the awning wraps all the way around to the back. So in the case of rain, you've got protection all the way around. It's also very easy to pull out and set back in. It's really handy equipment to have with a vehicle. 